Hi there, I'm Veronica Yu. Today I'm going to show you how to make low carbs, almost no carbs. It's meat pie. When you think about meat pie, it's just so good because you can share with the entire family and sometimes you uh, just to cut the small pieces and you freeze them and whenever you need, you just take you know, for your lunch or you can have your main course. It's so handy. But just the fact that when you think about it, oh, I'm gonna just make a meat pie, it's so complicated. I'm going to make this recipe as simple as possible for you. So once you make it, wow, second time and third time, it's just so easy. So before I start, I want to tell you something. Um, I know everybody have your this year resolution, the goal, but here's the thing. If you really want to transform your body, you have to put your mindset that I must to do this. Not like, oh, I want to do this. I need to do this. I really wish to do this. It's not going to happen. Because, for example, you must go to work to make money. Then no matter what, you make it happen. Even though you're tired, you make that time that you make it on time, go to work. It's the same thing. So think this way. Like, okay, someday, for example, certain time, I must cook my meal. Because in the end, you want to lose weight. You want to be fit. You want to have a more better energy you have to have a great ingredient good nutrient food like a whole food and you have to cook your meal that's how it goes so once you do that it becomes routine so it's gonna happen okay so now I'm gonna show you the ingredient I'm gonna put the three part first you're gonna see this one this one this spices we're gonna use it every to here and here crust and the ingredient inside the stock for a beef we're going to use this uh, um spices mainly always i use the turmeric black pepper sea salt and today i'm going to use the dry basil and here this is what we're going to cook first in the stove this one you need the 600 grams of um, ground beef grass-fed you can add mix with the lamb as well if you want more fat fat in your meat and don't get the extra lean just get the regular one and you need a two tablespoon of butter i use this butter it's like actually they sell this one for organic coconut butter so i'm using this one to cook and you need a half cup of water and i already pureed this red onion it's a quarter cup and quarter cup of um, tomato paste that's it that's what you're gonna cook first and then once you cook this one after that you're going to make a crust here so crust is very simple you're gonna have a quarter cup of water and three tablespoon of organic coconut oil and one free range egg and one teaspoon of um, yeah baking powder and one tablespoon of psyllium husk and here I mix all together mainly you need a quarter cup of a coconut flour and quarter cup of a flax seed flour and you're going to need a uh, three quarter cups of almond flour so I all mix together here and that's it and you need um, yeah 8 by 8 or 10 by 10 you need the round baking pan and one here parchment paper that's it and then here what is about this one this is topping you are going to need here i made it like about like a three quarter cups of um cottage cheese don't get the low fat just get the regular one and here 200 grams of a shredded a mozzarella cheese it's about like a two cup this is topping. This one your kids can do. It's very easy. The end, you're going to just put on the top. So, yes, let's start. Okay, in the stove, first, you're going to turn it on. The heat, about like a medium to high. And then, remember, you have like a two tablespoon of butter. So, I'm going to add that one in here. It's so creamy. This one is so good. I found this one at the organic store. So you melt your butter first and then first you're going to add this one, onion puree. There you go. Ok, 
Okay, now, and the, you can see the simming a little bit the onion, and right now, after, right after, you're gonna add uh, 600 grams of beef. So I'm gonna put this one. And fry it a little bit, this one, with the butter and onion. And then we're gonna put the spices. Okay, now we're frying the, uh, this beef, and then now I'm going to add our spices. The first, I'm gonna use the uh, quarter teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric. And quarter teaspoon of, uh, yeah, sea salt. And then I'm going to use one teaspoon of just uh, dry basil. That's it. So you're gonna actually mix all well together. And now we cook, uh, cooking this uh, beef. And then after that, what you can do, you're gonna add this uh, quarter cup of uh, tomato paste. Put everything, just, uh, yeah. And then same time, you're gonna add this half cup of water. Mix well. You're going to do this one, leave it like this about like um, 15 minutes while when I'm actually making the uh, crust. So let's just lower the heat. Okay, now it's still steaming the beef. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. And then I put really heat at low, low as possible and just leave it there. At the same time, I preheat the oven already 350 degrees right now. So right now I'm going to make a crust. I'm going to show you. If you don't have just this kind of a blender, you just use with the mixing bowl and then you use your fork and then you can just make your crust as well. But I'm going to use this one because I have it. So you remember we prepared this one. They all mixed together. This flour, I'm going to put um, everything in here. And then one tablespoon of fusillium husk. And then you're gonna use like um, I need a lot of like quarter, just a second. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Sea salt, use the sea salt, yeah. And a little bit of a quarter black pepper and quarter turmeric. I put everywhere tomorrow because it's really healthy. Yeah, it's bring down your inflammation. That and then I'm going to use baking powder just for a teaspoon. And then we have water here, quarter cup. Don't forget to use this uh, three tablespoon of coconut oil. And now all you have to do is just to blend together. That's it. So yeah. Let's see. Okay, take this one out. This batter look like this. I'm gonna show you close up so you can see how it look like. So all you have to do, you have this greasy uh, baking pan. I already put the butter. That's a trick, so we can take this one out very easily. And parchment paper, just put it on the top, stick it. You know what, when you have uh, your friends invite you for a weekend, for have dinner and lunch, 
bring this one so you can have one you know what you're eating is very healthy and then you can also share with other people that's a good idea right so i'm gonna put this one everything in here because my hand is really clean so i'm gonna put everything here all you have to do press with your palm very hard there you go Yeah, that's it. It's a simple. I'm going to show you a close up. When you actually make this one spread evenly, just uh, cover the edge as well on the top. Just go over. So then you can actually take this one out and you cut it. It looks like really pie. So now, remember, I put the oven at 350. I'm going to put this one in the oven. We're going to bake this one about like a 15 to 20 minutes. For me, this is perfect crust in makeup of 15 minutes. So let's see. Yes, this is exactly uh, 15 minutes later, I just took out from the oven. It's uh, a little bit crispy outside, a little bit golden color, and then it's done. It's already cooked. And then, do you remember, I just simmered those um, beef for 20 minutes. It's ready to go. So all you have to do, just one second, this beef ingredient, I'm going to show you close up. So you can see. Yeah, this one I'm going to actually put on the top of a crust. It's really hot. So you're going to spread evenly. A little bit press gently, lightly. So make it even. Yeah. On your pan. Yeah. So beef is ready and all you have to do, you're going to just put the topping, which is uh, I already prepared for cottage cheese and mozzarella cheese. I show you the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to put this on, push on the side. Just have a medium or a large mixing bowl and all you have to do, you add your mozzarella cheese. Yeah. And cottage cheese. <gasps> Who doesn't like a cottage cheese? Yeah, here. And I'm gonna just mix together. And now this one is gonna go on the top of a beef and then we're gonna bake about 35 to 40 minutes and you're all done. That's it, so I'm gonna show you. Mmm, it looks good. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna press and spread evenly. Isn't that pretty or what? It's amazing actually when you bake this one. So, all you have to do, you put this one in the oven and then you wait for 34. 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, meantime, I'm going to be ready to go to gym. And before I go to gym, I'm going to eat this one. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh my god. It took about 35 minutes. I baked it and I just take this on. It's perfect. So, uh, around here's a little bit goldish, you know, golden brown color. And then it's perfect. So, uh, it's so hot, but I, I can't wait because I'm really hungry just to look at this one. So I'm going to try this one. You see how easy to take this one out? Oh, yeah. It's hot. And then this one, yeah. There you go. Let's open up. This is how it look like. You know, best way to cut the pieces is like when it's cooled down a little bit. So it's uh, your cheese a little bit, you know, gets uh, not too soft, you know. So then like, you know, cut really clean cut, you can have it. But right now I want to show you and I want to eat. So I want to see how we're going to do this. Oh, I want to wait this one. <laughs> I will try to cut.
you have to really cool down this one otherwise uh, it's gonna she's gonna be all over the place like me yeah I'm gonna show you the close up okay I'm going to eat this one every day one piece yes let me try Oh, this is so good. You should try it. It's a little bit hot, but it's really good. And there's a the cheese and it's melting on the top and there's a the beef. It's going to fill you up. Try it out and let me know. Thank you for watching Makeup and Nutrition. See you next time.